After killing his first bully, the CEO now targets his homeroom teacher and the class president. But will this be as easy as the first time? Find out in this nail-biting thriller series called The King of Pigs. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video with relaxed recaps. The episode opens up with Zhong Yi pressing a knife to Kyung Min's neck, but then he suddenly starts to feel dizzy and loses consciousness. Turns out, instead of stabbing Zhong Yi with the syringe, Kyung Min had mixed the drug with his alcohol before going to the bathroom. When Zhong Yi gains consciousness again, he finds himself hanging on the wall of his living room, his arms super glued to the wall. But, despite being in a desperate situation, Jung Hee doesn't know when to shut up, and he starts blabbing that Kyung Min shouldn't be doing this just because he bullied him back in middle school. This further angers Kyung Min, who makes several cuts on Jung Hee's body and asks him to crawl to him if he wants to live. Desperate to save himself, Jung Hee forces himself to move, ripping his skin that was glued to the wall. Remembering all the times that Jung Hee had bullied and sexually harassed him, he finally slashes twice at Jung Hee's privates, making him bleed heavily and die a slow death. He then rips apart his family picture and writes a message for Jung Suk before leaving. Now, we're back at the scene where Jung Suk panics upon seeing the message on Jung Hee's dead body and immediately leaves. Jin Ah follows after him, but he disappears before she could catch up. The detectives investigating the scene have now labeled Jong Suk as a suspect and are trying to find him. On the other hand, Jong Suk is drinking at a bar when he's pulled into a flashback. We're back in the classroom where their homeroom teacher arrives and asks Kyung Min to return to his desk. He introduces himself and then elects Kang Min as the class president. It becomes very obvious that he's biased towards Kang Min because of his grades and wealth. Now more confident than ever, Kang Min warns everyone not to mess with him and look the other way regarding things that don't involve them. To make an example, he orders Kyung Min to crawl again while everyone in the class claps for him. In the next scene, we see a drunk Jong Suk dreaming about Kyung Min before he's startled awake in his apartment. He tries to calm himself but is pulled into another flashback. As soon as Kang Min leaves, Jong Suk immediately rushes to Kyung Min's side to help him. He returns to his seat when a ball rolls towards him. He goes to pick it up, but a mysterious boy with long bangs collects it before him and leaves the class. They're hanging out after school when Jung Suk suggests that they should tell an adult about everything, but Kyung Min dismisses the idea and assures Jung Suk that all will be fine if he endured for two more years. Just then, Jung Suk's parents, who were fish vendors, passed them and Kyung Min warns Jung Suk to wash his clothes so he doesn't smell like fish, because if Kang Min knows what his parents do, he would start bullying him too. Jung Suk snaps at Kyung Min to worry about himself and leaves, but later that night he can't sleep and kept thinking about everything. He then takes his shirt and starts washing it, but is unable to get rid of the smell of fish. He feels ashamed for behaving like a coward and leaves the house in the middle of the night. In the present, Jung Suk is talking to Jin Ah, who asks him to stay out of this case because the police are now actively searching for him. Jung Suk tries to reason that if they're suspecting him, he should have been more involved in finding Kyung Min to avoid getting labeled as an accomplice. Jin Ah agrees to let him in on the case and asks him to meet her at the forensic lab. However, they don't have enough time because the police had found Jung Suk's profile and one of the officers had confirmed that he was the man that Jin Ah always brought along with her. Her senior officer immediately orders officers to follow her and arrest Jong Suk. Jin Ah and Jong Suk walk out of the lab with even more questions. Jin Ah wonders if killing Jong Hee was Kyung Min's curtain call or a signal for the second act. In another flashback, we see Jong Suk at the school, staring at the class mailbox, contemplating if he should write a complaint about Kyung Min. Finally, he convinces himself and reaches for the paper. In the present, the police officers are chasing after Jin Ah's car. Unaware that they're being chased, they keep talking about the case until one of Jin Ah's co-workers jumps in front of the car to stop her. Jung Suk is escorted to the police station, while Kyung Min moves to his next plan. We see Kyung Min park in front of a deserted bar and walk inside. He's greeted by his director, the same person who talked to Jin Ah and Jung Suk at his office. He informs Kyung Min that Jung Suk had come looking for him before he hands him two bags, one full of cash, the other full of other necessities. He reminds Kyung Min to keep changing his appearance and thanks him when Kyung Min leaves a generous amount of cash to share with his other employees. 
After he's leaving, he asks if the director regrets helping him, but the man smiles and replies that he's never once regretted helping him. Jung Suk is sitting in an investigation room when we see another flashback. Kang Min is called by his homeroom teacher, who lectures him about the importance of having a good reputation and warns him how important it is to have the trust of his peers. Kang Min doesn't understand at first, but then he sees a mailbox on the teacher's desk with a note saying that Kang Min is a bully. Later, the teacher comes to the classroom and asks Kang Min to leave. He then asks everyone to close their eyes and raise their hand if they have any problem with Kang Min. No one raises their hand other than Jong Suk, but when the teacher kept saying that no one has raised their hands, Jong Suk opens his eyes only to find his homeroom teacher glaring at him, forcing him to lower his hand. Unknown to Jong Suk, Kang had been outside his class the whole time and had seen him raise his hand. While walking home together, Kyung Min and Jung Suk argue about why Kyung Min hasn't raised his hand, and Jung Suk storms off vowing to never help Kyung Min again. But on his way home, he runs into Kyung Min's mother, who was just returning from his home. She thanks him for always being by Kyung Min's side, making him feel guilty for not helping Kyung Min enough. The next day, he encounters the mysterious boy who warns him that he can't save his friend this way. He mocks both of them, calling Kang Min a dog and Jong Suk a pig. Jong Suk ignores his words, but when he walks into the classroom, he finds Kang Min bullying Kyung Min again. When he sees Jong Suk arrive, Kyung Min immediately admits that he's the one who had complained to the teacher. Kang Min asks Kyung Min to play the suicide game, where Kyung Min would have to choke himself until he becomes unconscious. Kyung Min does as he's told. But this was the final straw for Jung Suk, who yells at Kang Min to stop. Back in the present, we see an old man on his way home, when suddenly a car overtakes him and blocks his way. The man is none other than Choi Seok Ki, Kyung Min's former homeroom teacher and the current principal. Seok Ki goes to confront the person, but when Kyung Min flashes his knife, he turns tail and runs away. In the police station, Jin Ah and another officer are sent to get a statement from Jung Suk. They ask him several questions, but he stays quiet before finally speaking up and tells Jin Ah that he has to be the one to catch Kyung Min. Just then, Jung Suk's team arrives at the station, intending to take him back. The officer keeps refusing, but then they get a call from the forensic lab confirming the time of Jung Hee's death. Jin Ah confirms that during the time of Jung Hee's death, Jung Suk had been with her, so he was free to go. Jin Ah gets in trouble with her senior for keeping important information from the team and is informed that she would be working for Jung Suk's team from now on. The team start their investigation by gathering all the students in Kyung Min's class that were directly involved in bullying him. Turns out, all 31 students excluding Jung Hee and Jung Suk were now potential targets. The team splits and goes to talk to all 31 people to see if they can find out who Kyung Min's next target was. Jin Ah is in disbelief at how many students can bully a single person and asks Jung Suk if he had stepped in to defend his friend. Jung Suk is then taken back to the time where he had yelled at Kang Min to stop. Jung Hee had stepped in before Kang Min could say anything and challenged Jung Suk to a fight. People gathered around them as they fought, and Jung Suk seemed to be losing, having suffered more damage, but he didn't give up. And at last, he managed to pin Jung Hee down and hit him until he surrendered. He felt a great sense of accomplishment, and now he's positive that Jung Hee and Kang Min won't bother him again. When the flashback ends, we see a detective interrogating a man named Lee Ki Won about Kyung Min, but Ki Won claims to not recognize him and excuses himself. In another location, Detective Nam is waiting at a company for a man named Choi Sung Kyu, who also denies knowing Kyung Min, and when asked if he remembers who bullied students the most in his middle school, he replies it's always the teacher who bullies the students the most. On cue, the scene shifts to Choi Seok Ki, who is leaving the school when he sees a hooded figure writing threatening messages on his car. He tries to confront him, but backs away when he sees a knife in his hand. He immediately recognizes the person and calls the police. In the car, Detective Nam reports back to Jung Suk that though none of Kyung Min's classmates recognized him, they all pointed their fingers at the homeroom teacher. Jung Suk becomes angry seeing how people are still loyal to Kang Min. However, he gets distracted when he receives a call from Mang Jie reporting that Jung Hee's wife is awake. From there, they both split up. Jin Ah goes to Jung Hee's wife while Jung Suk goes to meet Kang Min in person. Upon his arrival, he finds Kang Min talking to Song Kyu, 
who was reporting back to him about how the detectives are going around asking everyone about Kyung Min. He immediately hangs up when he sees Jong Suk, and his face ditches all the kindness as he takes on the attitude of a bully, as he takes every chance to try and bully him with words. Jong Suk is just as nervous to see him, but he steals himself and goes through with the interrogation. Kang Min threatens him, thinking that they're here to destroy his reputation, but Jong Suk simply tells him to call if he's in danger and leaves. On the other hand, Zhong Hee's wife tells Jin Ah that she had received a call from Zhong Hee just before his death, so she asks Mang Zhe for his call records. However, he forgets to report back to her because Zhong Suk arrives at the office and he becomes busy reporting his finding to him. He tells Zhong Suk about how half of Kyung Min's employees are criminals and how they get paid three times more than regular workers. This makes something click in Zhong Suk's head, and he asks Mang Zhe to look if any employees have a history with drugs. Mang Zhe immediately finds the person and reports back to Zhong Suk, but then he realizes that his senior is going to confront criminals alone and decides to follow him. While the duo is following a lead, Jin Ah is still waiting to hear back from Mang Zhe. When she can't reach him, she decides to call her junior from her previous office and asks him for a favor. She finds out that apart from his wife, Principal Choi Ki was the last person to talk to Zhong Hee. She finds the principal hiding in his office, and he confirms that Kyung Min has been threatening him. She goes to call for backup, but sees a man running towards her with a knife. She pulls out her gun and shoots at him. He lowers his knife but makes a run for it as soon as Jin Ah lowers her defenses. Jong Suk finds two criminals hiding in an apartment and manages to capture them with the help of Kang Jie. He tries asking them about Kyung Min, but they were too loyal to say anything. Kang Jie finds a file that had names and detail of every person they had dealt with. He finds Kyung Min's name, but what surprised him the most was Kang Min's name in the registry. He pulls aside the young criminal, who reveals that Kyung Min had paid them to turn Kang Min into an addict. Now, Jong Suk is sure that Kang Min is Kyung Min's next victim, but even after knowing it, he can't bring himself to call Kang Min and warn him. As he's trying to make a decision, he's pulled into another flashback. Not long after the fight, Jong Suk and Kyung Min returned to the class, but as soon as they sat down, they realized that their seat was coated with glue. Jong Suk tries to move, but Kang Min knocks him down and starts to beat him up. But, despite everything, Jong Suk decides to call Kang Min and tells him to seek protection in the nearest police station. Kang Min still doesn't take him seriously, but that changes when he informs him about Jong Hee's death. Jong Suk assures him that this wasn't about drugs, but the mention of drugs makes Kang Min panic even more. Finally, he boards a taxi and asks to be taken to the nearest police station. Jong Suk gets a text from Jin Ah and leaves immediately. On the way, Jin Ah fills him up on everything, making Jong Suk even more confused about the situation because he's very sure Kyung Min's next target is Kang Min. Finally, the police manage to corner the car, and the person inside immediately surrenders. But when Jin Ah removes the mask, it turns out that the person wasn't Kyung Min, but the man with the scar that Jong Suk had seen in Kyung Min's office. Just then, Kang Min's taxi drives past the scene, and he inquires why it's taking so long to get to the police station. The driver responds that if he goes to the police station, everyone would know about his drug addiction. Then he turns around to reveal his face, and it's none other than Kyung Min. That was it for today, guys. Subscribe to Relaxed Recaps for more content like this. Until next time.